So the final cut of um, 168 components that we've had to make for some shop displays that we're, that we're doing. Now, th this particular panel saw was, uh, was, a, was a godsend, to be honest. Um, cutting all that sheet material precisely, quickly, down to particular dimensions that were, that were really important for the cabinets we've been making. I needed a nice clean cut, a nice square cut. Didn't really want to get uh, get on the floor or get on the bench with, with a track saw, so had to go for the panel saw, the compact panel saw, uh, which is uh, the AT254PS16. One that fits lovely in our, in our little wood preparation room in the skill centre. Not a massive machine, so not huge spread taking up the whole room, but still a machine that can size uh, full sheets, full 8x4s. Uh, enough rib fence width to, to slide down the length of the cut but also enough cross-cut capacity to easily handle 1220 or four foot. So let's just have a look at a, a couple of different functions on the machine and see why, uh, see why this has, has been such a godsend to me. So the machine itself has, a, as you'd expect on, on all panel saws, has a good work surface area. Extension table, rear takeoff table, long, thick, rigid aluminium uh, sliding carriage, outrigger, support bar and crosscut fence with double flip stops. Now the main table itself is cast iron, as you'd expect uh, on a machine of this sort of level. Even the trunnion underneath, the vast majority of this too is cast iron, giving the machine some serious rigidity. So as with most circular saws, table saws, panel saws these days, we've got a tilting blade, unlock, nice big hand wheel and blade will tilt over the, 45 de over the 45 degrees maximum, which is indicated on the front of the machine here. Locks off, even the side handle folds in so you don't catch your leg on it or knock it off. So rise and fall, so depth of cut is controlled by a hand wheel on the front. Again, nice big hand wheel. So a 254 millimeter blade, 10 inch blade on this machine with a maximum depth of cut of 80 mil. Another thing that I really do like about this machine is how easy it is to change the blade. Access is terrific. Sliding carriage drops back out of the way. So door drops down, giving you access. Comes complete with a Tommy bar, which drops in the top of the shaft through the tabletop. Spanner. Remember left hand thread, opposite way to normal. So blade change is, is nice and simple on this machine, really good access. So at this point you can see the all important scoring blade, which is fully adjustable through the top. Access for the alignment of scoring blade to main blade is all through the top of the machine here. So no need to get on your hands in these under. You've got a left, sorry, a right and a left. And this one will very, very gently wind that scoring blade up or down to give you just enough scribe cut through your material. So the outrigger here is not just for material support, it also holds the fence, the crosscut fence, which actually does a lot for you. It comes with two adjustable flip stops. So you can drop that one down or flip it out of the way if you've got some more cuts to do. Extend this out to the required width, drop it down, lock it off. Two very useful, precise, rigid flip stops here. The fence also enables you to do angle cuts. Pivots through, read out on the top of the main table here, so you can get a good idea, you can get an accurate angle cut up to 45 degrees. Now, from this point, the fence always comes back to a positive stop, which is completely adjustable. You've got your pivot point here, and this comes back to a stop, locks off again, ensuring that you're always coming back square to your main blade. So with the fence fitted, 1600 millimeters maximum sliding crosscut travel easily covering a four foot sheet, 1220 mil. And the outrigger is supported by this large boom arm, 
giving you total support through the cut. So the fence has a couple of positions on the outrigger table. You can have it on kind of the, the far side of the table, to, uh, to, which I find easy, uh, nice for, for handling sheet material. Or you can get a more, most more traditional position here for cross cutting, which is easy to come off. One up there, one locked pivot pin dropping in to this hole. Drops in. And down that knob comes back into position you've got another repeat square stop just here which pivots down out of the way if you don't need to use it I mean stop there and then put that knob back on underneath just ensuring that your fence comes back to you stop ensuring that you're nice and square once again so you can have your material here sliding through another piece that comes with the machine as standard is a is a mitre fence now it's for real uh, for, for cross-cutting smaller pieces where you know your main uh, cross-cut carriage and, and larger fence might be just a little bit too big it comes complete with material clamp You've got the capability of cutting at angle. You've also got a repeat flip stop. So if you've got 20 pieces, say, to cut all the same length, it can be done just with this very small component. Like I say, save using the larger sliding table for these smaller jobs. So the all important guard, 63 millimeter hose which has a support arm here for the hose so the hose doesn't contact and get dragged on the table. The guard itself is adjustable and it's also got a little flip down piece to ensure that not only the main blade but the scribe blade is guarded as well. I find extraction of waste clearance on this extremely good. As long as you get that blade low, low as you can down to the work surface, cutting down this area here, extraction and waste clearance is, is, is really good on this machine. So we've got a fence which has a pull-out extension, support plate, extendable up to two meters. Smooth, easy to adjust, rip fence, cam lock, which can easily be adjusted to do repeat cuts, or as a good long rip fence, giving you support before before and, and during the cut, which is extendable up to 825 millimeters. So that uh, just about wraps up this little um, introduction video on the 8254 PS16 table saw, panel saw. It's certainly been uh, a welcome addition to our skill center workshop here. Like I say, sheet material is, is handled with ease, as well as you know, the solid material, the, the natural boards that we, we have to cut as well, the, the lots of hardwoods uh, that we put through this machine. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see a little bit more about this saw or you want to get hands on yourself, why not drop into one of our eight stores uh, located up and down the country. Drop onto our website for full details. Thanks very much. Bye.